Hey friends, if you've ever asked yourself, will this break my fast? Will drinking this break my fast? What about putting coconut oil or cream in my coffee? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So you're listening to High Intensity Health Radio. I'm Mike Mutzel, thanks so much for tuning in. Let's dive into it and talk about what does or doesn't break a fast. And I'm gonna keep it really simple for you. No expert knows, okay? Now that might come as a surprise. You might say, well, what about this study? What about that study? Well, to be totally frank with you, um, there's not a lot of really good studies when it comes to food ingestion and affecting autophagy. We have a lot of great research when it comes to exercise, when it comes to fasting for 72 hours, we know that does improve autophagy, as does exercise. And I think a lot of people are worried about what foods they consume while they're fasting or when they break a fast and how those foods will break their fast and or slow down autophagy. So let's keep it really simple. If you need to ask yourself, does X, Z, or Y, eating it or drinking it affect your fast? It probably will, right? So if we think about the definition of fasting, it's going without food, having zero energy, causing your body to rely upon its own stored energy to recreate that as fuel that the cells can utilize. So that being said, do we need to be dogmatic and very strict about this? Well, it depends on your health goals. Why are you fasting? Are you fasting just to optimize health and longevity? Well, if that's the case, maybe having a little bit of fat may not be so problematic. And I'm not trying to give fat, pure fat, a free ride necessarily, but there was a study that I will highlight right here that showed that when these researchers, when they had these individuals fast, these test subjects, I believe they were men, when they had these in individuals fast and they uh, injected through intravenous means, just pure fat, it didn't slow down some of the fatty acid oxidation. In fact, it improved it. They didn't look at autophagy back then because this study was, I think, 15 years old or so. But just understand that perhaps pure fat, which I know in nature is hard to find outside of looking at, you know, maybe things like butter, coconut oil, things like that, may not totally, quote unquote, break your fast. But we need to understand the mechanisms of, you know, fasting and what we're trying to induce Many of us are trying to get a suppression in insulin-like growth factor one, decrease mTOR, and improve some of the autophagy signaling molecules like AMPK and others. And so we know that having glucose, having proteins, having amino acids will potentially affect mTOR signaling, which could then slow down autophagy and quote unquote break a fast. So just think through this. If you're gonna have bone broth, does that contain protein? Yes, so that could possibly negate some of the health benefits ascribed to autophagy or fasting. What about collagen? Again, collagen contains protein. I love collagen. Our company, Myoscience, sells collagen. Do I recommend ingesting collagen while you're fasting? No. When you're fasting, you should be fasting. Now, if you're having a, a problem while you're fasting, you get the shakes, you get food cravings, I recommend just having a little bit of fat and salt. I think that's very satiating. Uh, having the fat based upon some of these studies, um, probably won't negate the health benefits of a fast. So hopefully that kind of helps you think through this. Again, there's no one that's a world expert on this. Uh, you know, obviously there's people that understand autophagy and the signaling and so forth that goes into autophagy and fasting, but I don't think anyone can say for certain what food does or doesn't break a fast. We need to kind of triangulate and look at the known mechanisms mTOR, AMPK, you know, the various inputs that glucose and insulin signaling that affect those mechanisms and triangulate from there. But I think the biggest thing you need to understand is what are your goals and why are you having this particular food? Do you feel like you need to have bone broth because you feel like you're gonna waste away muscle? Well, you need to understand that when you're fasting, a natural mechanism that occurs is an elevation in growth hormone. Growth hormone does two things. It helps preserve your lean muscle mass and it helps you burn fat for fuel and stimulate ketogenesis or the synthesis of ketones. So if you're having amino acids and protein while you're fasting, you could potentially reduce the amount of growth hormone that you're naturally being released. And remember, growth hormone is, and ketones help together help you spare lean muscle mass. So I, I think we need to understand that if we're trying to fast for health, we should just fast. If we're trying to have a low calorie day, uh, that's a little bit different. So the alternate day fasting research does allow people to have like 150% of their calories on feed days and on fasting days, they'll just have 50% or some, some studies look at 25% of their maintenance calories, right? So is that still helpful? Potentially, but it, it really goes back to why are you doing this? What are your goals? So I think, um, you know, again, no one in the world knows exactly what foods do or don't affect a fast. 
But we do know that proteins, glucose, sugar, and so forth stimulate mTOR insulin, and that may negate autophagy. If you're trying to enhance autophagy, then you probably shouldn't have those foods. So hopefully this video gives you a little bit of context. Again, I don't know all the answers. I don't know that anyone does, but hopefully you can now think through this a little bit better. Think about why you're doing this and why are you trying to eat or what, what you know, What's the impetus behind having the bone broth or the collagen or the whey protein or the whatever it is? And just understand that your body has built-in mechanisms to help you preserve lean mass. So you may not need those compounds while you're fasting. So I would love to hear from you. Any comments, any feedback, what's helped you get through your fasts and what's helped you preserve lean muscle mass? Type them in below. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. If you like this video, hit that like button. That just lets me know that we should do more content like this. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.